Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing Crown and Council which is a new game, it's out on Steam and it's made by Mojang, the creators of Minecraft. Now this game is free to play which is awesome so if you have Steam go over there and check it out. I should warn you though this was made during a game jam so it's not a finished game it's more of a concept and it's not fully fleshed out there's no menus etc but either way it is a lot of fun. So let's jump into it. Let's have a look. So, map one. Army costs one gold. Let's you attack an adjacent area. Each area gives you one gold, but not after the, the turn after being conquered. You've got to destroy all enemies to win. And for this first round, we've got one enemy to take on. Now, I've played a fair few rounds of this game. It is really fun. It's my sort of game. Uh, this is the kind of game that I will play for hours and hours and hours until I've like done everything and figured it out. And then I'm like, okay, I'm done. But I love these sorts of little strategy games. So, we've got to take over some territories here and just basically take over as much as we can with the gold that we have. So we've spent all of our gold and it's on to the next round. Now the trick often in these games is to be aggressive because as you can see now she's going to attack me so we need to attack her back in return and limit the amount of gold uh, that she can make. So that's my round done and that worked out very well for us as you may have noticed there. So now we're going to continue attacking her and we're not even going to worry about these other territories because that's it we've won. So What's the lesson there? Sometimes aggression is a good strategy. So map number two, a fort will cost two gold and it will increase the defense of an area. Now we have two enemies. So here we go. <laughs> and we're gonna expand outwards, obviously. How much gold do we have? One more. Let's go back that way a little bit so we're further away from this territory over here. Okay, we're done. Um, as I said earlier though, this game was made during a game jam, so it can be a little bit unresponsive sometimes. I've noticed when you click on territories, it doesn't always quite perform the action that you want it to. Now, avoiding conflict early on can be a very good thing, and I think that we will take over those territories and then see what our opponents choose to do. Now, it'd be nice if we could get them fighting each other while we sort of fortify this area over here. So that sounds like a decent strategy. Um, let's take over these two territories, then put down a fort. So now we'll sort of be encouraging them not to attack us here and it leaves us with lots of space to gather these territories in the next few moves. There we go. Right, now they are all poised to start fighting each other so we will take over these territories and now we have five gold to spend. I'm going to take over that one, put down a fort and then take over another territory and we'll let them fight. What are they going to do? There you go, red is attacking green. And green is now heavily fortified. Green also changes its colours a fair bit, I've noticed. If you look, I think the colours are tinted based on the land and, and green sort of looks yellow sometimes. You'll notice that a lot more later on. Um, so now obviously we have to attack and it's going to take multiple attacks. Let's see how far we can go forward here. Well, that's really fortunate and I think we'll count our blessings. Put two fortresses here and maybe just attack red as well. Okay, we are on the right track, but I think we want to focus on attacking red because red is quite strong as we've just seen a demonstration of and we've lost both of our forts. So maybe the strategy there should have been aggression, but I like to kind of fortify, fortify myself as well. And we didn't actually take this one over. Let's do that and fortify. And now we're just going to focus on attacking red. And there we go. Not enough to... Uh, to fortify. Let's roll the dice one more time. Nope. Okay, so let's see how we fare this time. It may look a little bit stale, matey, but we're having some good fortune there on the side. Wow, that one really held out. That's fantastic. Okay, I want to attack red more than I do green at this point, so we're just going to see how far through into red's territories we can get. Now, I don't like it when that happens. Let's go this way. Oh. The roll of the dice is just not favouring us at the moment. How many we got left? Two more attacks. That sort of makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? And uh, that's it. One more attack? No, nothing. So, slow and steady it might be, but there should be a turning point at some time. And Red does have some money to attack us, and we're getting the favour of the roll here as well. I think we need to take out Green, really, and just focus on Red. And this might be quite easy. Yeah, when we, when we get continuous, like, you know, it doesn't work continuously, I like to then focus on something else. Let's put down a couple of forts, let's put everything else into taking out green. There we go! Reds, we're coming for you. Oh, look at that! Right, let's put down a fort, and one more attack over there. That's the turning point, that was the turning point. 
Unless Red has some sort of miraculous luck. <laughs> that was the turning point. Bam, that one's ours. Let's just go between these two. And we're not even going to think about putting down a fort just yet. Let's see if we can get this top area. Let's try that one. Bam, that was nice down here. Oh, there we go. Can we do it all in one go? <laughs> that would be amazing. Come on. Yes, we did it. Congratulations, you have vanquished your enemies. I have. They have been vanquished. I like that word. Let's see. Fleet costs three gold. Let's you attack any area so you can go across the seas, obviously. Now we're fighting three opponents all at one. War is the inevitable conclusion of a failed diplomacy. Alright, so we're going to take this little bit of land here. Now, that's going to be harder to take. So I think what we would be wise to do is go for this collection of islands over here. And we got a little bit of luck on our side. Let's take over a second one as well. Nice. Now, if we can secure those two islands, I think we're going to be in very good standing from the get-go. And it's our turn. And we've got three gold. So, one on that side. We can't fortify anything over there. Go on. Ah, oh, a little bit of luck would have been nice there. Right, so someone just tried to attack us. And someone successfully did. It takes four gold to attack across the island. So... We can fortify these areas. That's going to be in our favour. I think having a fort here is important because we can then venture out and attack if we survive being attacked. Come on. One, two. Yes. We have two islands. Let's see what happens now. A failed attack, a successful attack with a fort, and another failed attack over here. Um, so what we want to do is take back that territory and put down a fort and then take over this territory. Bam, but we didn't have any luck. Okay, so slow and steady seems to be the name. Oh, wow, they took out our fort and our land over here. All right, well, oh, no, 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 we wanted to build a fort. Well, it looks like we're going to have to settle for that, and we've got one more attack. I think we'll save our gold this time. And you know what is not looking favourable for us right now, is it? We're losing control of this island over here. Green is very strong at the moment. I don't like it. Maybe we should have taken over one of these single islands. Let's see if we can find our way back into this one, though. We want to put some more fortification down over here. Okay, I lost that round, but I've started again. And uh, we've got secure quickly. <laughs> and now we're going to go over onto this island. I think I missed the opportunity last round because the whole island was sort of there for the taking. So we've got 11 gold. If we can take this out, just a couple of attacks... How much more gold do I want to risk on this? One more attack. Oh, talk about luck. Put a fort there. And we're just a little bit shy of fortifying that. But it should mean the other countries or, you know, kingdoms scrap over it. And now, we, now we've um, got a lot of gold and a lot of territory. So we can take this back easily and fortify the entire thing. We have some little gold left over for the next round. That should be the tipping point for us to, uh, to make this one work. And there you go, territory has been taken back, but it's very easy for us now to fortify it again. So everyone was attacking me, and I think what we just want to do is push out some other players out of the game now. Well, that's nice. We might be able to push out two players. Let's spend all of our money on this island. No, nothing. That is such a grindy level, you really just have to get the good roll of the dice. And I did complete that one earlier, I have played like a fair few levels of this. I've seen all of the tech that you get, and we've got some new tech here. It is a city, it costs two gold, and it increases the income from an area by one. So, this one's now going to probably be a lot easier, as we've got much more territory to work with. And of course, going to start off by taking over as much of it as we can. It might be a little bit smart to actually plop down a city there. Um, if I remember correctly from earlier when I'm playing, I think that you actually get money from the city right after you've taken over a territory. Um, but before we expand outwards, we want to put down some cities. And my strategy is to put fortresses between each of the cities. By the way, the cost of a fortress has gone up um, from two, which it cost earlier. And the reason why is because they're harder to take over. So if you lose a city, you're right next to a spot you're more likely going to keep. Um, so I think this island here would be a good one to go to next. And that was failure, so we'll put a city down right there and try again. Cool, so they're on the same island together, which gives us a huge advantage. As soon as we get across these seas, there we go. We can take over a large area and start producing a lot of money. And it's going to be nice, relatively easy to defend, because they're probably going to quarrel over this area. 
Yeah, they they tend to like go for. Oh wow, actually that's kind of worrying. They yeah uh, they tend to go for. Um... <laughs> Forgotten what I was going to say there. Never mind. Let's fortify this area. So fortresses next to all of our cities. Good strategy, and then we'll have lots of money to move into this area. There you go. I think I was going to say they tend to focus on getting the free land first before they attack another player, which is generally a good strategy, but sometimes it's good to be aggressive too. Um, so we've made it over to this land. We're going to go uh, up to there, build a fortress, I think, and put a city behind it. And then I think we should actually look at taking over some of this land, because this guy... Well, actually, no, look at purple as well now that I think about it. Let's go this way around. Yeah, attacking by land makes much more sense because it costs less, right? And we'll take back that, and I think we'll actually put a fortress on that one. And we've got one gold left. Let's attack this one. Bam! We got it! Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Your turn now. All right, Red's taking over us. Wow, they are fighting over our little island down here, aren't they? We need to take control of this. Oh, wow, we've lost a heck of a lot of stuff there. Um, so hopefully these are nice and easy to get back. I'm clicking. <laughs> there we go. Let's take back that one as well. And how much gold have we got? Seven. I feel like putting down one of these and fortifying that bit of land. And now we've got four gold, which I'm actually going to hold on to, which is something I don't do too often. Tend to try and spend as much of it as we can, don't we? Oh, wow. It's not good that they're invading us. I think we need to be more aggressive somewhere. I just can't figure out where we should actually go. Okay, so we're going to attack down the bottom, take all of that back, put down a fortress again. And I think we just need to get rid of purple off of this area. That makes the most sense. So taking this out is our number one priority. We've got 13 gold in which to do this. Bam, there it goes. And now we're just going to run over all of that territory, put down a fortress right here. We've got two gold to save for the next level. And this could be the tipping point. If no one successfully invades us across the seas, we might be okay. And look at that. They're not attacking us. Excellent. Now, purple's going to have a lot of gold, which means they can invade easily. So, I think we would be smart to... Yeah, just go there, really. Don't have to think about it too much, do we? Take over as many of these as we can. And purple, you might just be out of the game. And purple, you're out of the game. Oh, no. <laughs> now you are. See you later, buddy. See you later. We're going to attack green, not red. Green is more of a threat, in my opinion. There we go. Come on. Let's get that one as well. And let's put the other five on red. Wow, we've got four gold left. Let's try and attack green in the middle. Oh, unlucky. Well, green might, yeah, might do this. Might run away with a few of our territories. But we're simply going to take them back one by one and attack him in the middle. And now we just got to go across the land. Congratulations, you have vanquished your enemies. Amazing. Map number five. Now we can build universities. They cost six gold. They create research points. When we get ten research points, we can upgrade our stuff. Now, this is all of it. All of it can go to like a next level, produce more gold, uh, be better at attacking cross seas or on land. And before I sort of ignored the research a little bit, didn't really take too much advantage of it. I think we should head upwards towards that city as quick as we can. And we are right next to purple. So again, I'm hoping purple was going to choose to go this way. It might also pay off to be aggressive against purple. Speaking of which, I know we we're going to go for that city, but purple's out. He's out of it. And we don't have someone directly next to us who's a threat. Well, that's a stroke of good fortune. And it's my turn again. So, take over the city. And start taking over these other territories. Just spread out as quick as we can. One more gold to spend. Let's go up there. We're done. And this is like quickly turning in our favour, is it not? We've got lots of gold. We can... Conquer all this land. And with two gold to spare, we can go there and there. <laughs> that is awesome to look at right now, isn't it? And that's going to produce us a lot of money. So, now that we've got 16 gold, I would like to actually see some of this research in action. So, we're going to put... Uh, actually, no, let's put down some cities first so we can invest a little quicker. We're going to put them there. Put a fortress in between. And then up top, fortress there. And then a city either side. Cool, and then we've got two gold. Let's put another city right there. And let them quarrel over what little land they have. Can we, we can also get that bit down there. We'll do just that. And we'll put a fortress here. Another two cities, one there. A fortress. And then we've got to save some space somewhere, though, for... Let's see, let's go like, like that. 
for a couple of research places. Okay, so now we're producing an insane amount of gold. What we're going to do is put down some research in these three spots. And now we're going to invade the island at the top, which I've just noticed they are starting to do. So let's get there. Let's put down a fortification quickly. And actually, we can probably take this all over. <laughs> See ya. Um, and then we'll put down one of those. Oh, hi, I built it on top of the fortification. I am silly. Cool, so obviously we're, we're in a good position to win this. We do need to be careful not to let them take over too many of our cities. We've got three research points. We would like some more. So we're going to build some more of those up the top there and a city as well. And we might as well invade. Let's invade the main continent bit down there. Sweet. I'm going to replace that with a uh, fortress and then take over those bits. Yeah, why not? Let's go even further. We've got lots of gold. Wow. <laughs> Forgetting how strong we are, to be fair. Okay, let's see what they do. I just want to unlock the research now. We've got nine points. Let's try and get some more. So let's build that and there and there. And then we'll put a fortress in this one. We'll attack the next. Build. Oh, there we go. And that one as well. Sweet. Let's put one of these here and then put a fortress there. <laughs> uh, we built something on every part, which is amazing. Okay, I want to take that back, obviously. Right, we can choose an upgrade because we've got 17 research points. Um, so we're going to upgrade this, and now they're all going to become cities. Oh, yikes. Okay, so when an opponent takes it over, it doesn't stay the same tech level. We should definitely upgrade our fortresses next then. So now they're those things, whatever they are, and we're going to take that one back. If we get lucky, it changes back notice as well. And now we're going to pop up here. Hi. Eventually. <laughs> okay, we'll put you there, and we'll just put that right there. Another one of those, so we can get more research points. Yikes! Wow, what a stroke of luck that guy just had. He's actually just upgraded his own stuff, hasn't he? I think he upgraded armies. I reckon that's what he upgraded, so we should upgrade ours as well. Um, you can't upgrade past this first level, as far as I know. And look, now it's easier for us to blitz all the way across. And there you go, you've sort of seen the tech tree. And we can go on to the next level, really. Just using that one to demonstrate. So now there's an event, which is with these plagues, which will pop up in our cities. And uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, so we start off with four gold. We're clearly going to take over those two bits. And possibly put down a city, so we generate gold. Okay, so we were talking about this earlier. It's going to generate two coins for us. I wonder if it's the city that generates two coins. So we'd get one plus two. We'd get three in total. Yeah, there you go. So that tile next time might generate three. Now the way we're going to keep track of that... Oh, we're on an island. We can't do anything. So we'll have to wait. So that means that next turn we should get three plus two. We should get five and have eight gold. And we have nine. So I don't know how we got an extra one, but that's fine. Maybe have one left over. And I didn't count correctly. Either way, our next step is to um, invade. And I think we'll invade a place of a city, right? That makes a lot of sense to me. And then we'll take over the surrounding territories. Sweet. And one more. Let's go for that one right there. Cool. So if we can get all of this continent sorted out, we're going to be good. And there's a plague event up the top there if you spotted it or not. So now we've got six gold. We should, I reckon, just continue expanding and put another one of those there next to our fortress. Oh, and one more gold. I probably should have used that. <laughs> and I probably should have tried to take this one over. Not being terribly efficient, am I? And let's try and get that fortress. There we go. Excellent. So now we're going to put down a fortress of our own. Uh, we're going to put it... Let's put them there and there. And then we can build two cities. So we're going to build this area up again so we can generate lots of gold and have it relatively fortified. Okay, now who would we attack? I feel like Green's the guy to attack. He's also researching, which we're not doing any of at the moment. We're focused on expanding. And uh, for that reason, we need to be pretty swift about what we do. So I think we should go with those two. Put a fortress down here. And with the 12 that we have left, I reckon we should attack Green somewhere. Let's attack Green right here. Nice. Let's put down a fortress. And now we've got three attacks left. Take the city at the top, take the city at the bottom, and we've got three gold. I thought for some reason we had more than that or less. I don't know. Let's fortify that bit there instead. Cool. So come at me, bro. <laughs> what you got? They got nothing. Except they did take that bit back. And we just had a plague in one of our cities, so we need to rebuild it. But we've got 24 gold, and we're going to march across the lands as quick as we can, all the way out. Green, your days are numbered. See you later, buddy. See you later. Okay. 
and we should probably fortify these areas a little bit put down some more cities let's put a city over here and there and fortify that bit we've built on every tile and I think next round might be it but we do have to sail to a few places so that means we've got to get on our boats um, I'm fearful of red because of the research so we'll do red first hi hi got all of that done bam see you over there see you down here see you up there go on bam and seven gold oh we done it no we didn't I thought we won that one we had three gold left and look at that I didn't even bother you know building anything anywhere because we won surely surely we've won with all this gold no what how can you oh there we go at last <laughs> congratulations you have vanquished your enemies I have I have vanquished them and now a rebellion event yeah this just happens when you own an area it turns it back to neutral by chance um, rarely does that really like cause you too much of an issue and the only thing worth getting is that really so I think we just need to expand maybe downwards no actually let's expand upwards because they'll tend to go for unused territory first so if we can get up into this area what's behind us is sort of ours to claim you know so we want to build a few fortresses up here if possible right so now we've got three gold we're gonna go one two three like that and if I can take over this territory, it'd be a good one to fortify because it's like a buffer between these two. However, purple's there. I think now is the time to start fortifying. We're going to go with that one and that one. And then we're going to take over one territory at the bottom. I should have also probably built a city by now. So I'm a little bit worried. There was a rebellion. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We got nine gold. Yes, we definitely need cities. We're going to have one here. And then we're going to take over those bits and put another city down the bottom and then take back the one that we lost. Okay, and now I think we're in an alright position provided we don't get attacked. There are these little spaces here. Purple's not very well set up. We're also not researching anything I've just realised. Maybe we should invest in the later part of the game and plop that down on the corner. I'm going to put a fortification here. And we're going to invade that space and that one. And I don't think we're terribly well set up. But let's see how it goes. Maybe a couple more cities is what we need. And I like to have those between the fortifications. So let's go one, two. Now we actually have a lot of gold, I've just noticed. Um, let's finish taking over this island. Actually, you know what? this little space here isn't too bad. But let's... Oh, that was nice. Stroke of fortune. Uh, we'll put you there and another one here and that leaves us with free gold city at the bottom let's attack that territory okay so if we survive this round without being attacked I'm gonna call it and say that we are in a very strong position to do well oh yes we are to research I think we should invest in the future again put one of those there one of those there that leaves us with 10 points we're gonna try and take this over no let's attack that one in between are we going to have any luck? Sometimes it just feels like it's going to go no every time. And there, what would you know? We get it, but we don't have enough money because we attack the other one, so we can't build a fort fortification. All right, so that territory gets handed over to red. What does purple do? Not much by the looks of it. Man, green is researching like crazy. Green's got a strategy here. I'm, I'm worried about green. Um, I think green's more of a threat than anyone else now because of that. Glad I noticed it. Hi, let's go sail over and give green a visit. Uh, we're going to take over your territory <laughs> and destroy all the things you built there. Cool, let's fortify this. That's now ours. There's also this little island down here that no one's particularly paid attention to. Uh, as of right now, with six gold, I think we'll have our chances. And we did it. And we're going to fortify. And then we're going to we're going to attack that one. And we're going to attack it again. And then we win. Sweet. So, let's uh, see what they choose to do. We've got a plague over here. That means we need to rebuild our city and... It wasn't my turn. I saw someone had like research points come up and I'm a little bit worried because armies are going to be um, a tipping point in this game I reckon. We need to take that back. Is that actually connected to all of this? Oh my god, I didn't realise. No wait, is it? Yes it is, it's all connected, wow. Okay, let's take over all of this. Oh, I didn't realise, that's, that's kind of awesome. Look at this. We have the might to just march through. And I want to build a fortress there. <laughs> so see you later, city. And we've got one more territory 
Uh, let's just attack that one. Bam! Okay, so... Ah, it was it was purple who fortified. Interesting, good to know. Right, now we are in such a ridiculously strong position, we're going to upgrade our army, and we're just going to march through and take out everything in sight. I think. Hopefully that works. So I'm just going to click like this. There we go. Bam. See you later. See you later. See you later. See you later. <laughs> can we do it in one go? That's the question. Seven gold left. Six. Can we invade? If we win this, we can invade two more continents. One and two. And we did it in one go like that. Well, not one go. It took us a lot of rounds, but there you go. <laughs> and we vanquished our enemy once again. And now there is a mine, which sometimes pays a lot. So I wouldn't mind that. Now look at this territory down here. We've got two things on it, which I find a little bit odd. Uh, either way, it is our opportunity to do something. What do we do? Do we put down this to generate more gold? I think we take our chances and let... Oh, that's actually... Mm. We're only going to have four gold, right? Six. We got six gold. We need to win this. No unlucky roll of the dice for me. Oh, <laughs> that's bad. Okay, well... This might, this one might not go in our favour. There we go, okay. Now we've got one more gold to take over that one. And it's a slow start for us. It really is. And, you know, getting off to a good start has a sort of compounding effect, so to speak. Okay, and that's really all we can do is just overtake a little bit, get some gold rolling in. We are developing research points. That might help us later on if we keep it going. We've got four of those at the moment. And where are we going to go? We've got six gold. I feel like this one, if ever, needs a fortification because it sort of shields um, a large bit of land. Take over that. Let's attack our opponent here. And let's attack him again over there. Okay. And what we want to try and do is possibly take this and push our way up here and push him out as well. He's got a lot of gold and he's just taken away his fortifications. And we've had two rebellions down the bottom, which does not serve us well. But with eight gold... Oh, come on. We want to take over these cities. Yes. And we're going to take over your research. That, that was the game changer. Um, and we're going to take back this territory. So if this next round goes good for us, provided he doesn't like march around here, um, Red's got a lot of money. <laughs> red has got a lot of money. Green's going to act as a buffer between us and Red. So we need to like sweep around and take a lot of these. And I don't see an easy way in unless we want to use boats. And we don't really have the money for that. So I think the best course of action is to fortify that put down a couple more cities and hope that red doesn't attack us. If red attacks us, we're, we're kind of screwed. Because <laughs> red has too much money for my liking. Yikes, red's going to just sweep through here if we're not lucky. No. Okay, so now we got 20 gold. Right, and how do we sneak through to red? We could try and cut through the middle here. We are three turns away from upgrading. I think we're going to try our luck at this. Okay, that's good. Now, everything we take now needs to be a city. And nothing else. Sweet. That is going to hamper Red. Come on. Take it over. Bam. Nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's take that one as well. Look at that. Look at that. See you later, Red. See you later. And let's also attack there. Well, let's see how it goes. That was the turning point. That was definitely the turning point. We have lots of money. We are going to fortify a few spots here. Like so. And we've got our research to come in soon. I think we'll use that to our advantage. And let's attack this fella. Let's attack his research. Okay, that's ours. Anything else? Oh, that's it. I'm out of money. Okay. Fair enough. So, a few fortified places for green here. Oh, reds. What did you just do? <laughs> what just happened? We had a rebellion over here as well. So, we need to sail to take that back. Come on. One attack for that. Oh, it's fortified. Oh, and we lose that. Okay, we lose the combo there. Um, we're still researching. Let's keep that going. And, oh, was it this bit? Did Red always have that, or was I just not paying attention? Okay, so we need to fortify a little bit more, I think. And be careful of our cities. Um, but we're going to build a few more as well. That should set us up for the next round pretty well. Red actually has like a fair bit of money from these three cities. Uh, but now it's really ours. Plus we're going to upgrade our ships. So this should be a breeze. Hi, I'm clicking on it. See you later. Nope. Nope. 
There we go. How much gold do we have? Let's just take over everything. Bam! All gone! So it's just green. Green, you're going to suffer in the next round. See it. Oh, come on. And... Yeah, just click away. Click away like a frenzy. Got to get Psyche here. 16 gold left. Hi. <laughs> Sometimes it deselects. Come on. Wow, look at that. I'm clicking and it's just like, nope. Okay, come on. One left. We got this. We got this in the bag. Or maybe we'll have it in the bag next turn. Yay! We have vanquished our enemies. So here is the next level. Level 9. Uh, but that's about it for this video. What, it's been half an hour. And now I think we've seen all of the features. There's another, like, there's 75 levels in total, basically. And uh, I doubt I'm going to do another video on this game. I'll probably play it through to the end for myself. And uh, if you are interested in seeing another video, let's say we get 2,000 likes on this one, um, then I'll do another one if I can and upload that for you tomorrow. But anyway, I just wanted to share this game with you because it's cool, it's fun, I like it, and it's free to play over on Steam, so be sure to check it out if you like what you saw. And anyway, that's it from me, so thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.